From bizarre fish with unusual spiny bodies to weird creatures appearing on the boats and even close calls with cougars. We have for you unsolved mysteries where the line between truth and fiction blurs. That thing is wild. This video was recorded back in 2013 when a guy was hiking in the mountains and heard breaking branches close to him. Scared, he tried hiding and then looking for what was causing it. Soon enough, he was able to uncover the scary reason behind the sounds. Quite close to the guy, the creature remained half hidden in the bushes and trees. Its whole body was covered in thick, dark hair. The man remained hidden, trying his best to not be seen by the creature, or else it would have ended very badly for him. I don't know if it's just my imagination, but the creature seemed to be reaching with its arm, which I don't think a bear would do. You could see part of that tree moving like it was picking leaves. For me, it looked like it was Bigfoot. Also, it had a unique color, and I've heard people describing Bigfoots as having a mixture of colors like this creature. Could it be Bigfoot, or am I mistaken? And this is just a bear caught at just the right moment. There are times when humans come across a sight that takes them back to the mythological world. And something exactly like that happened in 2015 in Thailand when locals saw a buffalo giving birth to a scary creature. Although the animal was born to a healthy buffalo and had the hooves, body, and limbs of a mammal, it also had strange reptile-like scales and an elongated snout. And candles were lit around the calf as locals believed it would bring them good luck. While human's imagination and mind ran wild with the poor calf, assuming it to be an omen, or for some, a mutation mix of a crocodile and a buffalo. In reality, it was just a baby with a skin disorder, resulting in it being scaly like a reptile. Hiking alone in the woods can be scary, but sometimes things happen that make you wonder. That's what happened to a woman who had an encounter with the wild that left her terrified. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Instead of attacking her, like you might expect, the cougar was just as surprised and scared as she was. It actually just ran away quickly, as if trying to escape the strange human encounter. Luckily, the woman filmed the whole thing and shared it online where everyone who saw it could only talk about how lucky she was. And I find myself in that group. I can't state enough just how dangerous such situations are. A human stands no chance against this animal. The strength and power golden eagles hold are unmatchable. And if you think these eagles only attempt to catch small fish or animals, then you are wrong. An example of their daring nature can be seen in this clip, where everything seems normal at first, with a deer family grazing busy in their own selves. But just then, the majestic eagle approaches from behind and attempts to catch one of the fawns. Thankfully, the deer were quick enough to not just react, but to run as well. And that's how the eagle's attempt failed. If the grazing animals had been slightly later, one of them would have been in the grip of the sharp claws flying high above the sky, waiting to be someone's dinner. We all have an idea of how scary nature can be, but it becomes scarier for us humans when it comes at us with all its might. People in Thailand witnessed the strength of nature when a flood hit the country and damaged as much as it could. One clip, which particularly went viral, was of a car caught in the strong flow of water the people sitting in the car couldn't even get the chance to get out of it, and they just went with the flow. No one could help them at that moment, even if they wanted to, because that would mean risking their own lives, considering the raging water's flow. The video ended abruptly. However, later it was revealed by the authorities that every single person inside the car was rescued. The wild isn't always scary. 
Sometimes it can be quite unpredictable and cute as well. Take this clip for instance, recorded by a woman who was camping in the woods when she witnessed this unusual bond between a fully grown deer and her small dog. The little doggo was having the best time of its life, hopping around the deer and playing with it, while the deer, on the other hand, was acting like a mother whose kid is playing, as it just sat there peacefully enjoying the dog play. Till when were these two together? What were the circumstances under which this bond was born? I can't say, but this video warms my heart, seeing two unlikely animals to meet, enjoying a moment together. In 2016, a farmer in China came across a creepy sight. He was all excited for his pig who was soon to give birth. However, when it did, it wasn't exactly what the farmer was expecting. The piglet had two heads attached to one tiny body. It had two snouts and three eyes. According to the farmer, he did not feed the pigs anything toxic, so that could not be the reason. From the looks of it, the piglet appeared healthy drinking milk and even eating like normal animal babies do. However, how long would it survive remained a question. I don't know why, but this is certainly not the first case I hear of such mutations. These kinds of things seem quite common in China, as animals with two heads or other mutations keep getting born every few months, but they don't survive for too long. I wonder why that is the case. If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. Storms are pretty scary to even look at from afar, but imagine being right in the middle of one. This is exactly what happened in this clip where a man somehow managed to record all the chaos that was happening around him as a strong storm hit his house. At the start, the winds were not that strong, but within seconds, the whole scenario completely changed and the car, the bins, and whatever was on the street started being pushed around. Even the trees, with such strong roots in the ground, couldn't hold the ground and broke into half. God knows how the man was able to stand there and record it all, and why he did not try to rush inside to somewhere safe. I am sure I wouldn't hang around with all this hell going around me. It literally took a few seconds for the whole scene to turn from peaceful to chaotic, and I guess that's how powerful nature is. The unpredictability of the wild is already too much. But sometimes, these animals take it to the next level and do things completely out of their character. Take this elephant, for instance, who was thirsty, but instead of going to a lake, it thought it would be better to go to the humans and steal some water bottles from them. And that's exactly what it did, leaving the humans too stunned to do anything. Maybe it would not have been so shocking if the animal was stealing some bananas or sugarcane, but bottled water. How is it even going to drink from it? Why would the elephant raid a house in the middle of the night to do that? And no logical answer I can come up with. However, in the end, the elephant couldn't really do anything and had to leave with the humans continuously blinding it with their flashlights. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys love going to the beach for a nice sunny day and to get some needed tan, this clip will have you thinking twice before planning your next trip. This clip was recorded a couple of years ago when a huge wave hit the coast, although I am not sure exactly where this is filmed. At the start of the clip, it looks like just a normal day on the beach. There was no water beyond the limits. However, in a matter of seconds, a huge wave hit, dragging with it everything around. The cars, the huts, and everything that was there completely vanished with nothing but water in the sight everywhere. The guy who was recording it all was safe since he was standing on top of the building, but considering the flow, it would not be surprising if the water took the building down as well. I don't know if that was the case here, but I have to warn you, 
If you find yourself at a beach and see the waters retreat a lot, you need to run. A big wave is coming your way. Recorded years ago, this clip had everyone in shock as they laid their eyes on it. It was in India that some locals saw a weird animal roaming around their village. Not knowing what it was, they caught it and got it caged. At first, I thought that it's a dog with some skin disease, but it does not really look like a canine. The body shape resembles more of a rat. Was it some species that had somehow hidden from human eyes till today? Or was it just an animal with some abnormality that got way too big? When it was uploaded on the internet, everyone had their own opinions. However, I can't say for sure which is the true one. Anyone has any explanation? With every clip, you will be taken to the weird world in which we live. This clip, for instance, shows another moment that, if not filmed, no one would have ever believed. In the middle of the night, when everything seemed calm and peaceful, a raccoon made a grand appearance on a ring camera. But the raccoon was not doing anything usual. Instead, it was flawlessly walking on its front legs. I gotta give it to him. He's got skill. Now, the question is why? Why was the raccoon up to such tricks? Maybe its hind legs were hurt. Or maybe it was just trying to show off its newly learned tricks. Has anyone ever seen this before? I know it's a first for me. Zoos have been keeping animals for so long, feeding them whatever they can. However, this zoo staff was recorded feeding something out of the ordinary to a few of their animals. Blood. Vampire bats are known for their liking of blood, and that's the main thing they live on. So, to keep them alive and healthy, the zoo makes sure to give them enough blood when they need. In the clip, we can see how they have arranged a number of tiny bowls which they fill with blood, and then the bats come to the ground to drink from them. This non-traditional way might freak you out, but that's the only way to keep these bats healthy and satisfied. As for what kind of blood the zoo feeds them, it remains a mystery, adding to the creepiness of the whole situation. Although I am pretty sure it's not human, so don't worry. Trail cameras are set up to get insights of the wild and to capture them being themselves in the wild, and this trail camera captured exactly that. A Pine Martin who was on a mission to get some food had no idea that an owl was right there with its sharp eyes on them. The Pine Martin, stumbling upon an owl nest, thought it could get a quick snack only got a whack on the back. That was enough for it to know that the area is not safe and it needs to run for its life. However, the second Pine Martin got a little more than that, as the owl pushed it down the tree branch with a whiff. I have to say that the owl has an interesting way to defend its territory, hit and run rather than stand and fight. I guess it adapts to its advantages, as owls have perhaps one of the most silent flight, so other animals will never hear it coming. Either way, the Pine Martins got their lesson. Never again should they come to the same spot. While most people only focused on the buffaloes making their way through the thick snow, not many saw what was happening in the background. While the buffaloes were busy walking around, not just one or two but four massive creatures were captured on camera as well. They remained mostly hidden behind the trees, but the glimpse that we got was enough for us to know that they were none other than Bigfoot. They were huge if we consider their size compared to the trees, and the way they effortlessly moved through the snow tells us that they were not average humans. The footage was recorded by a camera mounted in the area for surveillance purposes, and when the authorities got the video, they were quite shocked. Do you believe this is footage of a Bigfoot family? A guy was in the middle of the river trying to catch some fish when he noticed a weird creature in the water. It took him a few minutes to realize that it was a sloth, almost drowning. The man quickly went up to the animal and rescued it on his boat. And that's how this sloth got not just his life saved, but also a good ride on the boat. 
However, when the video was uploaded at first without any context, many people confused the sloth to be some weird creepy creature. It did look like it, but I think after a while it looks clear it is a sloth. I applaud the man for taking care of it. These creatures are pretty known to not be the most adapted ones. This video was uploaded by a guy on YouTube in 2017. He recorded and uploaded it to see if others had any idea what the thing he just saw was. Apparently, it looked like an insect, but not one or two, instead a whole group conjoined together, clinging to a tree or rock in the creepiest way possible. And to make it scarier, the whole mass was pulsating in a weird way as well. At first, I was shocked and found myself scratching my head since I had no idea what it was. But later I found out online that this mass might be tens of sawfly larvae, although I can't say with full confidence that they appear much larger than they would be alone, and they then wriggle in unison to appear as one organism. I heard before of this kind of behavior, which is triggered in order to incur a survival advantage, because one single larvae would be easy to pick and eat by the birds. Therefore, they form this weird mass and freak every passing being out. But I can be wrong, what do you think? If you got so far in the video, it means you're a dedicated viewer. Thank you. And if you subscribe and hit the bell button, I promise to keep posting these for you to enjoy. There are sights you see that will always stay in your head to haunt you. And the sight of this donkey is one of them. Recorded years ago, this clip can still have the ability to haunt people. I know it will haunt me for the days to come. It shows a donkey with abnormal growth near its ears and on its face, which looks like an extreme case and must have had this donkey in severe pain. However, its bad luck was that it was in a village where instead of getting proper care, the donkey was made an exhibition for locals to come and have a look at. Without treatment, I suppose the donkey later died due to its situation, although I hope I am wrong. Bad luck can happen anywhere and everywhere. Most of the time, it catches you so off guard not even the people around you know what to do. This is exactly what happened to this woman, who was having a normal day, shopping and walking around the mall, until moments before she could get on the escalator, a floorboard collapsed. However, thanks to the quick reflexes of the guy who was with her, she didn't get hurt, and he even managed to pull her back with the help of others. I think I always think about this when I get on an escalator, because this is not the first video I see of people falling next to an escalator. While watching this video, I felt genuinely concerned about the identity of this creature and the origins of the video. Unfortunately, there wasn't much information available. In this unsettling footage, we see someone standing in front of a car, signaling it to do something. The creature appears humanoid, but has a rather strange and unconventional shape. If it's an animal, it seems to be naked with no fur on its body. Its limbs are thin, and its head has an unusual, almost alien-like appearance. The way this creature is signaling the car to veer into the bushes and darkness is exceptionally peculiar. What might its motives be? Does it intend to lure passengers there for sinister purposes? The answers remain a mystery. This is the strange sight some hikers found in some forests. Could it be a lost orangutan strolling the forest, or a backpacker with seriously long arms? Or is it, perhaps, the legendary Sasquatch? The long-limbed creature steps out from behind the dense foliage and strolls through, the camera following its every move. Fortunately, whatever it is, it doesn't seem to be aware of the camera. Its face is ape-like, which would contribute to the idea of it being some type of orangutan. It does not look in our direction, but walks determinedly. I would love to know which forest this is in, Unfortunately, we do not get to see more of this strange creature, but it does raise the question of whether this is a lost species of humans, as we can see how human-like it appears. 
glowing white eyes in the dead of night. From out of the darkness can barely be seen a shape, a moving creature. It is rumored to be the Australian Yowie. Some individuals believe that Yowies could be the Australian equivalent of Bigfoot, although there are different accounts regarding the creature. It is believed that this creature inhabits the outback and other remote areas of Australia. Opinions on the creature's behavior vary, with some describing it as timid or shy, while others claim it to be violent and aggressive. I think it is safe to say that whatever this creature is, it is a terrifying one, one we would all want to avoid meeting in the forest. With its large forehead, we can almost imagine it to be a gorilla of sorts. Its movements are rapid and jerky. It seems to be hiding, but from what? Does it know it is being watched from this trail camera? These homeowners heard some strange sounds outside their home, and they started recording the outside. And what they saw was terrifying as the owner started calling someone on his phone. Deep within the darkness, something seems to be moving. The creature remains still to begin with, hiding in the distance and watching. It then moves over to the side slightly and comes closer to the camera. I can't be sure if there is a time lapse on this video, but it seems that the frightening humanoid figure materializes ever closer. The figure is white and large, a skinwalker perhaps. If such a thing does indeed exist, I would imagine it to look just like this. You can hear the desperation in Richard's voice as he tries to convince his friend of what he is seeing. It's like 35 feet away and it, it, it's, it came out of those weeds, you know what I'm talking about? At one point, the being looks almost ape-like, until it stands straight again, and then it clearly is not. The creature is very well aware that Richard is there, and it watches him. Richard says something like, it came back. Oh my God, there it is, Mike, it came back. Oh my gosh. Making us understand that this is not the first time he is visited by this. We can only hope that Richard's friend eventually believed him and came to his rescue. This driver caught a strange sight in the middle of the road and had to film it. A strange looking predator carrying away its slain prey. The only thing really clear in this video is the fact that whatever the animal is walking away, it is carrying the head of a zebra. Where does the rest of the prey lie, we wonder. It is half bush pig, half buck of some kind, a deviant of nature, an amalgamation of beings that hides in the night I am not quite sure what this creature is. Unfortunately, just as we see the profile of the animal, it disappears into the bush. But I think I've been watching this video too many times. The animal's bottom almost seems pixelated as it trots casually away, which makes me wonder whether the footage has been edited. The animal is indeed casual. It does not seem perturbed that there is a vehicle with bright lights following closely behind it. There is no sense of urgency. This, in itself, is strange and somewhat unnerving. The Kraken Lives During their dive off the coast of Japan, two divers captured a remarkable video of their encounter with a massive squid at close range. The couple recorded the footage of the 8-foot-long squid using their underwater camera, capturing the squid floating in the waters. Despite the large creature, the video is peaceful, and one cannot be in awe of how lithe the creature is. Despite being the largest invertebrate on Earth, the giant squid continues to largely perplex scientists, remaining a mysterious creature. Although this creature appears calm and peaceful, squids are actually formidable predators, and have been known to attack human divers when given the chance. Their powerful tentacles can seize divers pulling them downwards and causing disorientation, while their sharp teeth and claws can cut through wetsuits and skin. But what is more terrifying is obviously its size. The giant squids are known to live deep down in our oceans, where every creature is gigantic. So it is a mystery why it came so close to the surface. 
This video starts innocently enough with a few guys filming something odd in the distance. The one filming makes reference to black dots, but their attention and ours is very soon diverted to the large human scaling the forest ed. We hear the cameraman's exclamation that it is a skinwalker. Dude, that was a skinwalker, what? Follow him, follow him. I videoed it, I videoed it. Within Navajo culture, a skinwalker is characterized as a malevolent witch capable of transforming into possessing or camouflaging themselves as an animal. I was under the assumption, however, that skinwalkers ever only came out at night. This is in broad daylight. I'm really not sure what to make of it. The creature is huge, almost reaching the tops of the trees. Unfortunately, it isn't long before the guys lost the creature, so we can't be sure what it was that we saw. This lady has found one of the strangest looking creatures. At first it does look like some sort of a abnormal rat, crawling without any limbs. However, as strange and alien as these creatures are, there's actually a logical explanation. This bizarre creature is called the rat-tailed maggot. So it is not a rat, but rather a maggot. It is the larval or immature stage of a fly. These whitish larvae measure around three to four inches in length and possess a distinctive feature, an elongated tail of approximately one to two inches in length. This tail serves as a breathing tube for the maggots when they are submerged in water. As they reach maturity, the maggots become a nuisance by crawling away from their breeding site in search of a dry location where they can undergo metamorphosis and transition into the adult stage. As creepy as they look, they are completely harmless. So the lady in this video was in no danger. This guy was walking around in a forest filming as he was doing his stroll, but when looking back at his footage, he found something strange caught on camera. Right at the end of this footage, the camera caught the sight of a strange lizard-like creature which can be seen emerging from a tree stump. The cameraman obviously did notice, as we can see how he freaked. It is indeed a frightening sight to see while walking all alone in a forest, but honestly, I think that, rather than a mysterious creature, it is more likely a type of lizard. But even that would be hoping for too much. There is so much driftwood and debris out in the forest that it is quite easily just a strange shaped piece of wood. There are strange creatures among us, for sure. This isn't one of them. These remarkable images, captured by a trail camera deep in the forest of Oregon, have ignited a wave of speculation and wonder. From the very first glance, it becomes apparent that we may be in the presence of the legendary and elusive creature known as Bigfoot. The figure, towering amidst the trees, exhibits distinct humanoid characteristics, captivating the imagination with its enigmatic presence. However, it is the additional element that truly adds an extra layer of intrigue to this already fascinating encounter. Upon closer examination, an unexpected revelation unfolds. Nestled securely on the back of the majestic Bigfoot, a smaller figure becomes visible. This diminutive companion, seemingly a baby, clings tenaciously to its larger counterpart, gripping onto the strands of hair. The resemblance between the two is striking, suggesting a kinship. The notion that these awe-inspiring beings may indeed be a Bigfoot and its offspring opens up a world of possibilities. Could these elusive creatures possess complex familial structures and social dynamics? Do they, like humans and other mammals, exhibit maternal instincts and nurture their young? The presence of the baby Bigfoot lends further credence to the existence of an entire species. Could this remarkable trail camera footage be the key that unlocks the secrets surrounding Bigfoot's elusive nature? We can see someone filming some sort of animal in a ditch that is approaching. The person filming is backing as the creature is approaching. At first glance, one might be inclined to believe that the approaching creature is a bear cub, given its initial size 
and the cautious retreat of the person behind the camera. However, as the lens focuses and the animal turns to reveal its profile, we quickly see that this is not the case. The creature possesses a unique amalgamation of features, a sizable head, a compact body adorned with a dense coat of hair and short limbs that convey an uncanny fusion of monkey-like attributes with those reminiscent of a rat. Its distinct form is enough to elicit both fascination and trepidation, leaving us to question the very nature of its existence. As the scene unfolds, our attention is drawn to the creature's behavior. It exhibits a mixture of curiosity and caution, a primal instinct driving it to explore its surroundings while remaining wary of the human presence. We witness its repeated attempts to scale the grassy wall beside the ditch, an endeavor that suggests a desire to evade potential danger or seek refuge in the elevated terrain. The intensity of the encounter heightens as the creature persists in its approach towards the person filming. What drives it to venture towards the human observer? Is it driven by curiosity, a quest for food, or perhaps an unknown instinctual desire for connection? However, just as the anticipation reaches its peak, the video abruptly ends, leaving us yearning for more. What exactly was this enigmatic creature that crossed paths with the intrepid filmmaker? A boy wanders through the woods at night, his camera recording the adventure. The darkness around him is thick, pierced only by the occasional beam of his flashlight. Suddenly, a humanoid figure leaps out in front of him, startling and unidentifiable. Oh my gosh! The creature, or person, gives chase, and the boy's steady walk turns into a frantic run. The camera jostles wildly as he flees, capturing only glimpses of the shadowy pursuer. The footage is raw and pulses with urgency, making us question what we're seeing. Is this a genuine encounter with a strange creature of the night, or could it be a friend in disguise? orchestrating a prank in the perfect setting for a scare? In the moment, with adrenaline high and breaths coming fast, it might seem like the former. But reflecting on the video, it feels more likely to be a case of human mischief rather than an unearthly chase in the dark woods. Through the lens of a man's camera, we're guided through the eerie silence of an abandoned city. The structures around him are hollowed out, remnants of life that once filled these spaces. As the camera pans across the windows of a desolate building, a peculiar shadow catches his attention. It's indistinct, lacking a definite shape, hovering in the space where someone might have once looked out onto a bustling street. The ambiguity of the shadow in such a desolate place whispers of ghost stories the kind that cling to abandoned spaces. Could this fleeting shadow be a spectral resident left behind as the city emptied? While the imagination can run wild in such a setting, I'm inclined to think there's a less supernatural explanation. A trick of the light, perhaps, or a piece of debris stirred by the wind. Even so, in the absence of life, it's all too easy for the mind to fill the void with ghosts. A man's exploration of an abandoned building is documented through his camera. The silence of the forgotten space is palpable. As he turns a corner, the camera shakily reveals the back of the room where an unexpected figure looms. It's humanoid in shape, dark with large glaring eyes that seem to pierce through the dimness. The sight sends a jolt of fear through the man, and the camera's shake intensifies. This unsettling presence raises a host of questions. Is it merely a trick of shadow and debris, or something living that calls the desolate building home? Or could it be someone or something more mysterious? In such a setting, the mind may expect to encounter the unexplained, and fear can conjure phantoms from the mundane. Personally, I suspect the creature is less a specter 
and more a play of light and nerves. Yet it's the not knowing that sends a shiver up the spine. From the grainy view of a trail camera, set deep within the forest's embrace, we witness a scene that stirs the imagination. The quality is poor, each frame smeared with the blur of low resolution, yet there's a distinct movement that commands our attention. Against the backdrop of a solitary tree, a shadowy figure emerges, walking upright on two feet in a manner that's all too human for a typical forest creature. This shadowy form strides into the frame, then just as quickly, it's swallowed by the dense tapestry of the woods. The suggestion of Bigfoot crosses our minds. It's a shape, a gait that folklore and whispers have long associated with the legendary being. Looking at the ambiguous silhouette, it's tempting to believe we're peering into the unknown. However, the skeptic in me leans towards a more earthly explanation. Perhaps a person out for a walk, distorted by the camera's limitations. In the realm of shadows and myths, truth often remains just out of focus. This is the CTV footage from a homeowner who claims to have had one of most terrifying encounters. We can see a man hanging outside the house with his wife and his dog. Far in the distance, a sound which seems like a strange dog barking can be heard. After a while it can be heard again, but this time closer to their fence. After a few more moments, the sound was getting closer and closer at a speed it was not normal. The sound changed from barking to what sounds like a bird. The owners were paying close attention now, but not knowing what exactly it was. They went inside the house. The next day, the owner went outside again for a smoke, but this time, the sound was like a deep, slow breathing one. It sounded even closer to him. Given how terrified the owner got, he went to look at the security footage, and that is when he saw this. A strange line of lights can be seen moving exactly in front of him. I am not sure whether this is a strange effect of the camera, or the sounds he was hearing were in fact from this thing. He claims that at the time he could not see anything, just hear heavy breathing close to him. So is this the footage of what appears to be a ghost. From the sound of the language the driver is speaking, it sounds like this footage is from Russia. The road is dark with the only source of light being the car's headlight. Suddenly, in the distance, we can see a big figure pass in front of the car. The people inside the car start shouting upon spotting the creature, clearly not expecting to be met with this sight. <laughs> the creature quickly dashes out of their view into the forest. If we slow down the recording, we can see that the figure is pretty solid, with what appears to be hair all over their body. It's difficult to say with certainty what the creature in the dash cam footage could be. Some may speculate that it could be Bigfoot or another type of undiscovered hominid. So could this be an Yeti or Bigfoot? My instincts say yes, however, it could be fake as well. But I applaud the efforts to dress up and go into the middle of nowhere just to film this if this is the case. What do you think? We can see the footage from a motorcyclist traveling through a forest, but we are immediately met with a very strange sight. Bones scattered around the forest trail evoke an unsettling feeling that something is not quite right in this place. The motorcyclist himself seems to be taken aback by the sight, but presses on, venturing deeper into the woods. The path he's on is difficult, with many fallen trees blocking his way, but he remains undeterred and continues onward, determined to reach his destination. He gets to a point where two small trees have fallen exactly on the road and are completely blocking his way forward, just as he's saying in the video. This is where most people would turn around. But he goes on and tries to move them aside. Not being able to do so, he tries to get his bike over them. But just as he is doing that, he hears something in the forest. The subtitles from his original video say that it was the sound of someone shouting for help. He hears branches breaking as something appears to be moving towards him. In that moment, his instincts take over and he decides to flee, turning his motorcycle around and speeding away from the source of the noise. But what really happened in the forest that day? Was it just his imagination playing tricks? on him? Or was there something more sinister lurking in the shadows? The bones scattered on the forest trail and the eerie howling in the distance suggest that this place might not be as safe as it seemed. Who or what could be responsible for these strange occurrences? What annoys me about this footage is that if he indeed heard help, just as he indicated by the subtitles he put on, then why turn around to flee when you hear someone coming towards you? Couldn't it be someone who 
always in danger and needs your help, but at the same time, for me, it did not sound like shouts for help, but rather as a very creepy howl. And in that case, I think he did the right thing. The footage that has been captured in the sewer is incredibly intriguing and mysterious. It immediately raises questions about what kind of creature could be lurking in the depths of the sewer system. The remote machine with the camera on it provides us with a unique and rare insight into a world that is normally hidden from view. As the footage begins, we can see the remote machine slowly making its way through the dark and murky tunnels of the sewer system. It's clear that whoever is controlling the device is searching for something, but what they find is truly startling. A strange figure with glowing eyes appears to be peeking around the corner as if it is watching the device's movements. The figure is tall and slender, with an unnerving pallor to its skin. Its glowing eyes seem to be fixed on the camera, and it looks as though it is assessing the situation before it decides to move. The creature appears to be cautious and wary of the device, but as the device moves further into the sewer system, the creature becomes bolder and we get a better look at its shape and form. It is clear that this is no ordinary creature and its appearance is enough to send chills down anyone's spine. Its movements are erratic and jerky and it seems to be watching the device's every move. As the creature becomes more confident, it moves closer and closer to the camera. Its pale skin and glowing eyes seem to be illuminated by some unknown light source, and it looks as though it is about to pounce. But just as quickly as it appeared, the creature is scared off and runs away into the darkness. What kind of creature was that? Was it a previously undiscovered species or something even more sinister? The remote machine footage leaves us with more questions than answers, and it is clear that there is much more to be discovered in the depths of the sewer system. The video opens to the image of a dark and desolate country road. The car is stopped, as if the driver knows something up ahead is not right. Suddenly, we can see a very bizarre figure moving on all fours in the distance. It's not clear what it is, but the driver's instincts tell him to back away slowly. As the car begins to retreat, the camera zooms in on the creature, revealing a humanoid shape with a white appearance that appears to somewhat glimmer in the darkness. The creature moves with an eerie slowness and grace, its movements almost like those of a wild animal, yet it doesn't resemble any creature of the natural world. The driver is understandably terrified and keeps reversing, all while the creature continues to move slowly forward. As the creature comes into view, we can see its humanoid form more clearly with a slender body and a head that almost seems to turn and look directly at the camera. Many speculate that this creature is none other than the legendary Skinwalker, a creature that has long been associated with dark and ominous folklore. But could it be something else? Something that has never been seen before? The driver's quick retreat leaves us with more questions than answers. What was that creature? And more importantly, what did it want? This footage is from a trail camera that seems to have caught something interesting in sight. On the left side of the camera, we can see some sort of an insect being up close to the lens, inspecting the camera. It moves back and forth, perhaps trying to find a way to eat the trail cam. Could this be a spider that wanted a bit of spotlight? There is nothing unnatural about this footage. But to me, as an arachnophob, it gave me a bit of a chill seeing its legs so close to my monitor. The trail camera footage captures a bizarre and intriguing moment in the life of a wild bear. In the dense forest, the bear spots something that he had never seen before, a mirror. The camera captures his reaction, which is nothing short of entertaining. The bear appears to be taken aback by the strange object, and at first seems unsure of what it could be. However, as he gets closer, goes on the offensive. In a sudden burst of fury, the bear starts attacking the mirror with all his might, as if he had come across an enemy in his territory. He stands up on his hind legs, attempting to make himself as big as possible, and unleashes a series of punches on the mirror. It's fascinating to watch how the bear's instincts kick in as he tries to ward off what he perceives to be a threat to his territory. Despite the futility of his attack, the bear doesn't give up and continues to lash out at the mirror until he finally manages to pull it down from the tree. The entire episode is a testament to the sheer power and ferocity of these magnificent creatures. 
as well as their curious nature. While the footage is certainly entertaining, it also raises some interesting questions about the behavior of wild animals. Do they have the capacity for self-awareness? Do they understand the concept of reflection? This clip is from the YouTube channel Brave Wilderness, from when they decided to wander in an area where Bigfoot is most often spotted. But for sure, they were not expecting to find a monstrous humanoid skull. Close to the end of their trip, they spotted something bizarre barely sticking from the ground. At first, they thought they found the skull of a bear, but as they were cleaning it and turning it around, they realized it did not look like a bear skull. The teeth and shape made it look like it was the skull of a great ape or a long-lost ancestor of Homo sapiens. It looked too bizarre to be of any animal that would be living in that area, and many people argued this could be the skull of a Bigfoot. But personally, I am not sure. It seems just too convenient that a skull this strange was just barely buried in the dirt, and they happened to find it while out on their quest to find Bigfoot. But what do you think? Do you think this is the skull of Bigfoot, an animal or something else? This old clip is from Nat Geo TV and it is footage from Russia of a supposed sighting of Bigfoot. The clip is taken by some kids with their old phones, so the quality is very poor. We can see the kids playing in the snow, but they notice some big footsteps in the snow. Not knowing any better, the kids decide to follow them to see where they lead, but they soon stop next to a forest because they think they spot something moving in the distance. They freeze with the thought it could be a bear, but as they look at the figure for a while, they recognize it is a tall, hairy, humanoid-shaped creature, which also seems to notice them. Once realizing it is spotted, the creature darts away deeper into the forest, which also makes the kids start running back. The kids explained the creature's face was white and unlike the body, it had no hair on it. So did these kids spot Bigfoot? In this clip we can see some disturbing thing, some sort of dark-haired creature making its way through the forest. But its face looks more dog-like and to be honest, it does look frightening at first look. People argued online that this creature is a werewolf. But to be honest, I am skeptical. The way it moves, always seeming to have its mouth open to frighten, seems too unrealistic. It looks more like a Halloween costume. So to me, rather than a werewolf, as others suggested, I think this is just a man with a suit trying to give us a fright. What do you think? This is a trail camera that caught some amazing moments. We can see right next to the camera a wolf doing its distinctive howl. Supposedly trying to communicate with its pack, perhaps calling them for a hunt. But what amazes me more is the second footage from another trail camera that caught the enormous size of a wolf pack. Just look at this pack making its way down the slope. There are so many of them around 15 of them I think. And just think about how big wolves are. From what I know, wolf packs can reach up to 30 individuals. So just imagine being so unlucky to having to deal with a pack of that size in a forest. This clip was taken a few years ago in Kiev before the start of the war. But what it caught was really strange. As the person filming looks towards the pedestrian bridge, we can see someone under it, climbing. At first, I was thinking who would be crazy to do such a thing, but if we zoom the camera, we can see they do not really look like a human, and to me, the movement also seems too flawless to be of a human. Just imagine the necessary strength needed to be able to hold on to the bridge, not saying actually being able to go along it with such ease. I know there are people doing parkour who are pretty good with such difficult climbs, 
but the way it looks and how fast it moves, to me it does not seem natural for a human. So either that is an escaped monkey from the zoo, or there is something more bizarre going on here. What do you think this is? This footage is from the UK of a few boys who were fooling around in a cave. But while they were looking around, they spotted a black figure crouched next to a stone pillar. Surprised but also frightened, they took a picture of it and ran backwards. And we can see exactly what they photographed. And at first, they thought it is just some stray dog, because all we can make up is some sort of animal with black fur. Thinking it is funny, they went back with some sort of smoke grenade and tried to mess with it. But as they looked again, it looked clear it was not just some stray dog, but rather some sort of hairy creature slowly making its way towards them. The clip ends suddenly, and we can't really know what happened afterwards. Most likely they began running, if it was real. The creature to me looks like a goat, but the way it climbs that edge looks more human to me, so I am not sure what that is. Is it just some prank by a few kids, or did they catch something more bizarre? In this trail camera footage, we can see an encounter between a cat and a fox. They seem to be squaring each other for an egg in the middle. The fox seeming anxious to get its mouth on it, while the cat, being a good defender of the household, is trying to keep it at bay. From what I know, foxes are usually not scared of cats, and they actually attack them. But this one is reluctant to get any closer to the aggressively hissing cat. What is even more amazing is that the cat also seems to be missing a front leg, and yet still does not back down from this encounter. Maybe this is also the reason she is so aggressive. She knows she does not have the option to outrun the fox. The fox tries to get closer a few more times, but the cat lunges again and again towards it, making the fox run away in the end. This couple was driving at night on an empty road and all seemed to be fine, but just as they were passing some bushes, they spotted something terrifying hiding in, a strange pale slender humanoid figure. After they passed it, they decided to turn around to have a second look at what they've just seen. Although the recording is even worth a second time, the first time they spotted the figure, it seems to be fully grey and slender. It did not look natural, to me it did not look human, it was something resembling more of a skinwalker. So did they record a skinwalker, perhaps stalking for its next prey? This motion detection trail camera caught the unfortunate end of this deer as it was taking its last breaths surrounded by wolves. We can see that the wolves were still looking hesitant, so perhaps the deer still had some fight in it, but by the looks of it, this deer met its end on the spot, because it would have been really hard to get up from that position and be allowed by the wolves to escape. Although unfortunate for the deer, these are the rules of nature, the death of the deer means the survival of the wolf pack, but still an unfortunate sight caught by this troll camera. This camera spotted an unknown small hairy creature making its way around the backyard. It seems to be walking really fast on two legs, its body being also covered in hair, but seeming to have no arms from the looks of it. To me, rather than frightening, it looks a bit funny seeing this small ball of fur walking on its two little legs. But I'm also curious what exactly this is. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments down below. This is the footage from the security cameras in a Manchester office from a few years ago, and they caught perhaps the best evidence of a poltergeist. For the first minutes of the recording, nothing is going on, it is just an empty office building. But exactly after 3 am, things start getting creepier. The handle of a door moves as if someone was trying to open it. But just as we've just seen, no one is inside the building, it is completely empty. Soon after, 
the door next to it also has its handle move. And on camera 5 in the hallway, we can see a shadow moving across really fast. While on camera 9, inside the room with all the computers, we can see the screen of one of the computers come to life on its own for a few seconds. As time passes, more and more creepy things start happening. A chair moves on its own, but it is not just a little bit of movement, it is basically thrown all the way across the room. And same can be seen happening on camera 9 in the other computer room, while on camera 3 we can see the door handles going crazy this time, as if someone is desperately trying to open the doors. At this point the entire building is going crazy, drawers get open on their own, chairs move around the room and doors open and close on their own. All the while creepy shadows can still be seen lurking in the hallways. After a while of all this craziness going on, everything stops and goes back to normal, as if nothing happened, but I am still wondering what was all that. This trail camera recording shows us a strange sight besides the deer. As the deer is minding its business in this forest at night, we can see a strange orb of light which seems to be following along. Although orbs on cameras are not that uncommon because they can be caused by dust or moisture particles or even insects, this one we are seeing is acting very strangely as if it is following the deer. The sudden erratic movement of the orb downwards also seems very strange. In the second part of the video, the orb is still present while the deer seems to be looking in its direction. It does seem that its gaze is directly following the orb's movements, as if it is seeing it. And what is stranger is that once the deer starts moving away, the orb seems to be following it. As said before, strange light orbs are common on cameras, but this one seems to be following a pattern, as if it is acting with a purpose. This clip is taken by the dash camera from a truck traveling at night on a deserted road. All seems normal for a while, until we can see something strange appearing on the right side of the lane. We can see a figure standing on the empty road and it would be strange enough on its own to see someone standing on the side of an empty road at night, but this one is even scarier because the figure seems ghostly. If we zoom in closer, we can't really make up the shape of the body, except perhaps the fact that we can make up that the figure has two legs. I'm not sure if this could be a glitch with the dashcam, or just a trick from the lights, because it seems too strange to be just that. But what do you think? This trail cam picture was sent by a viewer from Pennsylvania, who said they caught a skinwalker on their trail camera. The image appears to have been taken during the day, and this is perhaps a motion detection camera that was set off by the mysterious figure we can see in the distance. Next to the tree, a hairless slender creature can be seen lurking, perhaps trying to hide. Although it does seem to resemble a human, upon taking a closer look, it seems nothing like one. And I'll have to give it to the person who sent it, it does seem to resemble a skinwalker. And the more I look at it, the creepier it gets. Perhaps this was exactly the intent, because it could be someone disguised trying to make the owner of the trail camera get frightened by the images taken. Fishing is all fun and games until you catch something bizarre. This is exactly what happened to these guys who, when they caught a fish, were too excited about it until they saw what they had caught. Whoa, dude, that is the strangest fish I have ever seen in my life. What is that? That is the strangest. What is that? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't cuss. It was unlike any normal fish you would expect. It looked like a catfish but had huge fins and a creepy face. The guy who caught it himself had no idea what the fish was. But I did my research and was able to find out that it is a fish called Acanthicus hystrix. At least, that is what I think it is. So please correct me if I am wrong. 
Whatever it might be, it is one of the scariest looking fish and can creep anyone out who catches and sees it for the first time. That thing is wild. That is one gnarly fish. I've never seen anything like that in my life. For more strange and interesting footage, check this out.